birthday. So we got a ton of requests from you guys to deep dive into this whole Jamie Foxx and Diddy situation. Yeah, wild stuff. It is. So we're going to be looking at this podcast called Real Talk with Lady T that really got the ball rolling on all this. Mm. And uh, I mean, just to set the scene, right, we're talking about Jamie Foxx, like huge in entertainment. Yeah. Oscar winner. Oscar winner. Singer. Comedian, the whole thing. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, you got Sean Diddy Combs. A con. Yeah. Mogul, right? Like The whole, yeah, employer. But it's not just about them being famous. Right. Fox is actually claiming that Diddy drugged him at a party. Wow. And that he thinks it might be connected to the stroke he had earlier this year. Oh, wow. Yeah. And a stroke is... That's incredibly serious. It is. I mean, it's life-changing, you know, potentially mm -hmm. career-ending. Exactly. So yeah. it's really not just gossip at this point. No, no. And what's really crazy is that Fox, I mean, he's usually so private, so laid back. He is, yeah. And he's coming out with this months after his stroke. Yeah, what made him, like, you know. Exactly, and that's what's so interesting, right? Makes you think. The Real Talk with Lady T podcast, they're speculating that maybe, you know, he felt like he just had to say something. And to break the silence, yeah. Like it was eating at him or something. Yeah, yeah. So they really dig into Diddy's reputation for throwing these crazy parties. Legendary parties. Right, like everyone who's anyone goes to these things. A-listers, yeah. But... There have always been these rumors about what goes on there, you know. Yeah, like whispers. <laughs> yeah, thing. exactly. Like what really happens behind the scenes. So now with this whole Fox situation, it's like a window into that world. Yeah, like we're seeing behind the curtain. Yeah, and the podcast, they kept bringing up this idea of power dynamics. Yeah, it's a big factor here. Which I think is a really good point, yeah. you know, because Diddy is like... Top of the food chain. Yeah, he's got the money, the connections, the power. Exactly. Yeah. So for Jamie Foxx to go up against him, it's got to be a big deal. It is. And that's the question, right? What does Fox have to gain by doing this? And what does he have to lose, right? Yeah, exactly. Boy, why now? Yeah, why now? And the Real Talk hosts, they think it might be part of a bigger shift. Oh, interesting. Like, people are finally willing to hold these powerful figures accountable. Yeah, even in Hollywood. Even in Hollywood. Which would be huge. It would. I mean, we've seen it with hashtag Me Too, right? Mm -hmm. Like, one person speaking out can lead to a whole movement. A domino effect, for sure. So if that happens here... Things could really change. Yeah, it's crazy to think about. Yeah. But we do have to remember, this is just one side of the story. Right, it's an allegation. Yeah, we haven't heard from Diddy yet or anyone in his camp. It'll be interesting to see what they say. It will. Real Talk definitely left us with more questions than answers. Yeah, I'm really curious to see where this all goes. Me too. This is just the tip of the iceberg, right? <laughs> definitely. This is a deep dive for yeah. sure. It is, and we're going to keep digging. But for now, let's take a quick break. Sounds good. We'll be right back with more on Jamie Foxx and Diddy. Okay. It's kind of wild to think about, you know, What's that? Fox putting himself out there like this, you know? Like, he's really risking a lot. I mean, yeah, going up against Diddy. Yeah. Diddy he's got a lot of power. Yeah. yeah, influence, money. Makes you wonder what made Fox decide to finally speak up. Right. Like, yeah. what was the breaking point? The Real Talk hosts, they were talking about how maybe this is, like, part of a bigger thing. Oh, yeah. Like a trend, you know? It's a cultural shift. Exactly. Like we saw with hashtag Me Too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where people are finally saying enough is enough, you know? Right. Like holding powerful people accountable. And it does feel kind of similar, right? Yeah, hashtag Me Too. Yeah. I see that. Like you've got this powerful figure, Diddy, uh -huh. and then this culture of silence around him. Yeah. Like nobody wants to rock the boat. And then Fox, he's like, nope, I'm not staying quiet anymore pretty powerful and like you were saying it is risky oh yeah incredibly risky you know he can lose work friends his reputation for sure so it makes you wonder how many other people have stories like this that we'll never hear yeah because they're too afraid to speak out <laughs> makes you think for sure and the real talk ladies they brought up a really interesting point okay that maybe this could be the start of like a real change in hollywood like a reckoning yeah like a reckoning exactly yeah. Wow. If more people feel empowered to come forward, you know? It could really shift the power dynamic. It could, but we also have to remember. What's with that? We've only heard Fox's side. Right, right. It's just an allegation right now. Diddy hasn't said anything yet. It'll be interesting to see how he responds. It will, and the podcast hosts were speculating about, like, the legal stuff. Yeah, what could happen to Diddy? Right, like, could this ruin his career? It's possible i mean they were comparing it to other cases you know where people's careers were destroyed yeah. 
Exactly. So the stakes are really high. For sure. But even if it doesn't go to court, yeah. Diddy's reputation is already taking a hit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like the court of public opinion, that's powerful. It is, especially right. with social media. It's like... It's instant. Yeah, things spread so fast. And this whole thing, it really does make you think about the dark side of fame. Hmm. Yeah. Like behind all the glamour and the money. There can be a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of darkness. Abuse, exploitation, you know. It's a good reminder that just because someone's rich and famous... Doesn't mean they're a good person. Exactly. So yeah, real talk definitely raised more questions than they answered. It did, but it's a really important conversation to be having. Absolutely. About Kometfu, accountability, you know. It's about time we start talking about these things. For sure. And it's about time we started listening to the people who were brave enough to speak up. Yeah, like Jamie Foxx. Exactly, like Jamie <laughs> Foxx. It's kind of crazy, right? Like all the pressure that comes with fame. Oh yeah, especially in Hollywood. Yeah, like it's so easy to get caught up in the whole glitz and glamour thing. You forget there are actual people behind it all. Exactly. And the Real Talk podcast, they were really hitting on that, like that whole culture of silence. Yeah, how it can be so hard to speak out. Because you're afraid of what will happen. Right, like losing your career, your friends. And going up against someone like Diddy, I mean... That's a whole other level. It is. So it makes you wonder how many other stories are out there. That we'll never hear, yeah. Because people are just too scared. It's sad to think about. It is. It makes you realize that, you know, we need to do better. As a society, yeah. Like create a space where people feel safe to speak up. No matter who it is or how powerful they are. Exactly. And the podcast hosts, they made this really interesting point. What's that? That this isn't just a Hollywood problem. Oh, I see what you mean. Like power dynamics, they're everywhere. In every industry, really. Yeah, in workplaces, schools, even families. It's about recognizing those imbalances, you know? And making sure that everyone feels safe and respected. Absolutely, no matter their position or status. So thinking about everything we've talked about today, what do you think our listeners should take away from all this? Hmm, good question. Like, what can they do, you know? I think the biggest thing is to think critically. About what they see and hear. Exactly. Don't just accept things at face value. Especially when it comes to celebrities and power and all that. Yeah. Question the narrative, you know? And remember that everyone deserves to be treated with respect. Regardless of who they are or what they do. Yeah, and if you see something that seems wrong... Don't be afraid to say something. Your voice matters, you know? It really does. So this whole Jamie Foxx and Diddy situation, it's definitely a lot to unpack. It is, and we might not have all the answers yet. But I think it's really important that we're having this conversation. Absolutely, and hopefully it'll encourage more people to come forward and share their stories. And to hold those in power accountable. Exactly, that's the goal. So yeah, keep your ears peeled, everyone. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about this soon. Oh yeah, definitely. This story's not going away anytime soon. And in the meantime, keep those deep dive requests coming. We love hearing from you guys. We do, so keep them coming, and we'll catch you next time. See you, UA. <laughs>